High School Gymnasium where the seniors of Whitten Woods are taking on the fire department members from Forest Park Fire Department. 19 to 16 after two periods of play, going for one more 15 minute period. What do you think? I don't know. Right now, I don't really know. Uh, these guys, they're both looking good on both sides. They could go either way. Yes, it could. Remember, the stipulation is fire department loses. They have to serve the seniors breakfast at the senior breakfast. Yep. Fire department wins. Seniors on the basketball team have to wash the fire trucks. That can be a pretty funny sight. Yes, and it's, heavy, it's a hard job washing those fire trucks. Let's see, who have we got out starting out here for the second? That's the guy with the Charlie on his shirt. That's Mr. Sutphin, a teacher here at Winton Woods. Let's see what we can have here. Brown and Bounding to McGee. Richmond, uh, there's a scrum down to the floor. McGee pushing in, kicks it out. Shot the two no. Firefighters, long shot, no. Look like Williams said that one, but no. Firefighters, again, inside the post. Brown, they're trying Best to steal. Fire, firefighters regain the ball, Not and good. an easy basket. Amos Johnson on that shot. And now the Windwoods drive in. Oh. Firefighters, no! Brown, she's driving up the court. She's gonna take time to set up. Richmond, yes. four, two, go! Music here in the background is from the Wiz. They're here, they've been invited here. Wait. Try, trying to heavy or hot pass to Williams. Couldn't get it to work. That was way too hard of a pass. a three by Williams. No, it's actually uh, Andrew Francois, I believe on that. Francois, I'm sorry. Came back really fast. This Warriors started out down about 10 nothing, and they've come back to 26 to 18. You ever expect that? Actually, I did. I expected that if the Warriors did get down early, then late in the game they're going to get a huge push, and here they are. Hey. 
they see him shot some crowd here. Game's back on on court. Nice drive by the firefighters on that. Six point game. Oh! McGee. Excellent moves by Maurice McGee. Just broke that firefighter's ankle. Could not complete the shot, and it looks like he was fouled. Yes, he is. Free throw, no. Make a shot, too. 28 22. 15. 15.50 left in the game. Nice defense in the post. Nick Keller there with the ball. Burn. Ferguson for three. No. no. Up this Wentworth crowd. Yes, sir. Right, Mark. Back on the run, no. Out of bounds. They're going to have a uh, mass substitution on the Warriors. Good. Set of the team. Four fifths of the team in back. Nice substitution, man. In comes. All back in play. Firefighters cannot get anything in the hole. Brown with the ball. She's driving on the court. She was recently subbed in. Crenshaw, no. Travel. Travel on the firefighters. Travel call on the firefighters. Nice defense by Brown by for standing him up. They gave it the ball. When Woods Brown, extremely speedy. Nice layup, in! Tipped in by number five, 
Issa Richmond. Time out on four. And it looks like the firefighters need a timeout. They're down by 11 points. Comes Brown, she's speedy. But it goes right off the hands of McGee. McGee just could not get his hands on them. Here come the Warriors, led by McGee. McGee dancing around these firefighters. McGee in a pickle there, looks like. Williams driving inside, loses the ball, but Brown is there to recover it. Brown, Brown again. Brown on a good recovery there. Brown tried a nice finger roll, could not get it. Looks like he's the, the Warriors' main warrior here. Oh, nice shot. Excellent return shot by the firefighters. Look at the handle of McGee. Oh, Francois was really short on that shot.
Looks as though Ferguson was tripped up. Here comes Brown. Knocked out of bounds by the firefighters. Iron with the ball. Top, top. No. Look like traveling on part of the walls. So the ball goes to the firefighters. a three on part of the Warriors, just could not get it in time. Oh, nice second effort by the firefighters. And the Warriors call a timeout. 60 second timeout. I'd like to thank uh, the video club for letting us have this equipment. Andy Anderson, video club Educational Access Coordinator Whitecroft. Ben McFarland's up there running the camera you see most night. Callis Johnson's also been on a camera for us, getting us some of his cutaways earlier today. I'm John Palmer with Eric Strickland. It's the 29th of April, 2005. 40 to 38. Game's closer after the half. Those firefighters have come back strong. short. Firefighters charging. Take it. Excellent time. ball movement. Yes. Oh! Game time. And a nice turnaround jumper. McGee answers back for the Warriors. It's all tied up, 42-42, 6-42 left in the game. Good Woods, Brown loses possession. Firefighters, oh ho! What a turnaround layup for that point, for those points. Woods crowd is really getting into this game. Firefighters, two point lead. Six minutes counting left. Shot in, good. Second one is in, tied back up at 44.
Jordan New. Richmond with it. Here comes Wynn Woods. Brown driving down the score. Nice pass to Williams. Williams. Williams with it. Inside. Williams. No, no. To get it. On the second and third try, Williams. No. Here it comes, William. He's gonna try. No. It is not showtime for Williams right now. Come on, what? Come on, Williams. Pressure. And it's going Whitwood's way after some nice pressure forces the firefighter player out of bounds. Still not enough. 44, 415 left. I can feel the excitement mounting in here, can't you, Strickland? Yes, I can. Back the hair on my arm, standing on end. Yeah. Here come the firefighters. Nice oh, 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 nice steal. Oh, let's steal there. There you go. Steal that McGee. It's showtime for McGee. McGee has been incredible this game, John. For two. No. Oh. Oh. I've won three. No. Possession. Two minutes, clock has been stopped. Ferguson inbounding. Oh, no, 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 no. Something obviously wrong. Try it again. Seniors along the sideline there. They feel a win. Possibly. Steal by McGee. Oh, McGee. McGee setting up camp out there, waiting for the moment. In, no, yes. Oh, McGee loses the ball. Ball fighter. Oh, 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 no. Way up to Brown. They Here's care of Brown there with the ball. To Williams. McGee. McGee sitting. Setting up the camp again. Back to McGee. Putting pressure. Ferguson. Brown. Out to Francois. Ferguson. Three. No. Firefighter 
Jones cannot answer back. Oh! 40 seconds left. 49, 46, three points. Oh, she misses the layup. Here comes the game. And he's held on to. There's an intentional foul. One possession game. You can tell Wickwood's trying to stop firefighters scoring and firefighters trying to score. It's getting exciting. 27.4 left with the timeout. You can see both teams going to huddle up. Yes, huddling up. What would you do if you were with Woods at this point of the game? What would you do if you were with Woods at this point of the game? Would I do what as with Woods if I was if I was in this? I would make sure that they do not make any bad mistakes. They have to keep the ball under control. They have to give it to those boys that know how to handle the rock. That's been a problem I've seen all pretty much all game. Ball control has been a bit sloppy. Either they've been out of practice or it's just game so fast paced you can't keep up with the ball. Yep. What about what do the firefighters have to do? What do the firefighters have to do? Firefighters have to get inside like they've been getting. They have to get inside all game. Like, just like they've been doing all game. They have to dominate the paint. That's how they win this game. Three-point game. A three-point will tie it up. Take the win. They'll need to get another two, so it's technically a two-possession game. 27.4. Couldn't get any more exciting than this. No, it can't. No. Round with full foul. in JP. this game. Indeed. McGee, so us, 
scratch at what we said about uh, the Warriors winning. Ten minutes, a lot can happen. Yep. I think I need a. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Right. Make sure you take some. You make sure you take some aspirin. Here this comes the Warriors. Fourth quarter is underway. Nice dish to McGee. McGee over the back. Inside, Williams, no. Firefighters with possession and they cross Fire over the timeline. Firefighters have a determined look on their face. And Woo. Jeremy made it. Firefighters hit it. Three, round. round. Yes. Just a nice pump there. Ball down the corner there. Now it's top of the key. Out the three point land. Now pushing it for two. Three no. Two no. And it's scrubbed out for the ball. Nine minutes left. So the firefighters get 50 after that free throw Five and point game. Nope, set one missing. McGee. M yet again, McGee. Loses the oh. ball. McGee tried to try do one of his patented his spin arounds, get around that defender, but it was hit out by that defender. It cued into him at the right time. That might be a game costing mistake up near the end. Shot in. Two. It's now Three 50. Points. It is now 52 to 55. Wynton Woods is still in command here. Woo. Okay, he makes it. Sweet layup by McGee. Firefighters. Oh! Long three. Of them. Here come the Warriors, McGee, inside, and one a 60 to 52. McGee is one heck of a player, John. Yes, he is, yes he is. Oh, and another one for the firefighters. Here they come. You better watch that guy when he's on the outside, guys. Takes a seat. Firefighters? Hey, no. no. Round six 
gets down as Ferguson comes in. She's had an excellent game. Williams, burn, burn, inside, no, loses control, firefighters charging right back down to the, to the paint, inside, swish, baby. Long pass, oh, way too long. Williams leapt for it, he just could not get there in time. Firefighters, nice shot, oh no. Into the paint, no. You can really tell that this Windwoods crowd is getting really into it. Woo! And Barry Williams. Williams in on that. Another layup. A three. No, short. Barry Williams. 66-62, 3-16 left in the quarter. Clock will continue to count. Clock continue to wear down. Ferguson and one. Ferguson nails his free throw. Sixty nine, sixty two. the firefighter. Minutes are, 10 left is counting. Things are not looking good for the firefighters. 10 point game. Minute left. McGee. Keller. The three. No. William. Williams. 50 seconds left. They're taking their time. Firefighter. Session. one looks pretty wrapped up. Thank you to the Warriors. Time 
Matt Red. Music stops and it gets suddenly quiet in here. Yep. But you can hear the buzz of the electricity that this caused. Yeah. 72, 65, 50 seconds left. 50 seconds left in the timeout. 20 seconds left in the game. What is, what's your wager? Oh, seniors. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, goodbye. Trying to send them off with a good song. Seconds left, 72 65. Not enough time, do you think? Not a lot of time. Can't waste time, firefighters. Warriors, Ferguson with the steal. Warriors. He's going to go to Richmond. Richmond. Oh, oh no. Missed a dunk. slam. 1.8 left. hit it for an excellent, exciting slam, but he missed it. That's going to be the game. And, that's and this one game. belongs to the Warriors. Fantastic. There you see the final. 72 to 65. The Warriors came. Firefighters and Warriors. The Warriors came. They saw they kicked some butt. Congratulations. So the firefighters will on May 27th have to serve breakfast to the seniors for their senior breakfast. After this on the flip side of the break, I'm going to be interviewing Miss Williams, and we'll be doing our post-game wrap-up. So, but we'll get for this. Then I'm going to get an interview set up with Miss Williams. We're going to do the interview over in that corner. Then I'm going to bring Strickland on. Okay, got it. We're gonna get Miss Williams. We're gonna do an interview over in that sort of direction. Then I'm gonna go back, come back, get Strickland, and we're gonna do our post-game wrap-up. And then you're gonna have a full wide shot. Okay? Hang on a second. Hey, Callis, shoot this. Shoot all this. This logo's in the shop, Ben. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a few questions about the game and what you think of the class of 2005. Ben, make sure this logo's in the shot. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and all that. Welcome back to Winwoods High School. I'm John Palmer along with Miss Anita Williams, principal at Winwoods High School. What do you think of that game today? Awesome game. I was so impressed with the uh, skill of our team. They got it going on. Truly, they did rock the farmers, uh, fireman's world, I tell you. It's one of our storylines before the game was, can the seniors make it duh, French for two? And they obviously can. Absolutely, I most certainly agree. Also, before the game, I do believe the firemen did come over and claim that this was their house. But I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that our students did show them who runs Winton Woods High School here. It is our house. 
Yes, they do have their. They did get their sign taped up saying this is our house, but uh, I think that'll have to come down uh, quickly. I certainly agree. Yes. So, uh, what do you think of this class of 2005? Were they a good class at their years here? I love the class of 2005. Actually, this was the first class I had as a ninth grade principal. So I'm really proud of them. They've come through. They've held their own. So they're going to be a great class. I'm excited about graduation. Yes, and I absolutely agree with that. Being a member of the class of 2005. So, uh, any other any words of wisdom for the seniors as they're preparing to head off to their future goals or goals or dreams well, and aspirations? Absolutely. Those wise words that I'm sure so many people have told them, stay focused, make sure you understand what your goals in life are, and work toward those goals. Small steps, but work toward those goals at all times. Stay strong. Good. Well, thank you, Ms. Williams. Thank I you. hope you enjoy the rest of your month of May, and I hope we look forward to the firefighters get to serve the seniors breakfast, right? Absolutely. They are serving. Oh, good. Well, hopefully they won't have a run and have to go on a call to run, right as they should right. So thank you. Have a very good day. Uh, we'll be back with Eric Strickland. I'll be back with Eric Strickland for the post-game wrap-up. Welcome back to Wentworth High School, where the Warriors seniors have just beaten the fire department of Forest Park, 72 to 65. I'm John Palmer, this is Eric Strickland. What a great game that was, Eric. Oh, it was an excellent game. I really saw a lot of a lot of uh, talent there that we will definitely be missing on the basketball, on the varsity basketball team next year. And by the way, McGee, you are awesome. Uh, as we just saw off to our left, you can't see it on camera very well, but uh, firefighters brought a sign saying this is our house. Seniors uh, just ripped that off the wall and uh, are proceeding to trounce, smash, maim, and otherwise mutilate it. So who, uh, for the Warriors, seniors, who was your MVP of the game? Of course, McGee. McGee was incredible this game. Just driving inside, making three shots, get, getting assists, getting rebounds. He was the man today. I'll grant that, and at the end of the uh, third quarter of play, he had an excellent slam dunk, getting two points. But that was all, that was for show all, and it didn't matter anyway, because they still won. Hey, a sad dog doesn't wag his own tail, you know. And then for the uh, uh, fire department, who, who do you think was their MVP? Their MVP? I'd have to say, um... I'd probably say Amos Johnson, I would think. He, he played a pretty good game, got some good shots in there. But, it's, and our storyline before the game, can the Warrior seniors make it do? And they obviously proved that they can. They made it very good. And you know what? I think they deserve this breakfast. Yeah. So, Warren, this is the second year of the game. Seniors, two for two. Firefighters, 0 for two. Next year, class of 2006, what do you think they're going to have? Well, I'm going to be on the court that time, and uh, I'd like to see... And I'd like to see some challenges out there. How do you know you're going to be in court? How do you know you won't be here doing the same thing? You never know, ladies and gentlemen. You could be announcing, you could be announcing and playing at the same time, couldn't you? 
Good job.